Hey, all you beautiful people out there, Dave Scadam coming to you from Leduc Springs in Gardner, Montana. The way you get here, beautiful place, by the way, but the way you get here is you start in Livingston, Montana on uh, Highway 90. You turn south on Highway 89 and you go about 50 miles. I think we're about, probably about five or six miles from Gardner right here, which has gas stations, motels, and things like that. But check this out. The most great thing about this hike and this run today is the drive through beautiful Paradise Valley. It's on the western slope of the Absorca Beartooth Wilderness, beautiful drive out along the meandering Yellowstone River, world-class fly fishing river, by the way. But it's just a phenomenal drive out here. And you get to see the great high peak of Mount Cowan, which is one of the highest peaks in the Absorca Beartooth Wilderness. It's about between 12 and 13,000 feet. And you also, the whole edge of that whole western slope is just so beautiful and it's just worth the drive. And then when you, as you get closer, you get to Yankee Jim Canyon, which is a narrow canyon. And uh, it's named after a guy that uh, put the first road through here as a toll road back in the 1880s, somewhere in there, when Yellowstone Park was first being formulated and it's just a beautiful drive and it's just well worth the drive even if you don't get to run up to this uh, on this trail i'm going to be running up to uh along bassett creek it's uh forest service trail number 134 and um, i'm about 5200 feet right now i'm going to be going up to about 7200 feet which is a 2000 foot gain i expect uh, you can see it's a sage brushy here and it's been kind of dry the temperatures are, have been high and uh, you can ex I can expect I'm gonna expect to stay in this uh, kind of this grassy area like this about halfway through and then get into some trees and I'm looking forward to that looking for, I've never been on this trail so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like you can see this uh, the parking area right here is really nice uh, it looks like you can probably can probably hold like maybe 20 or 30 cars I don't think this is a really popular trail so you probably won't ever have any problems with the um, parking at this place there is no bathroom at this place but right across the road down by the river there's a uh, uh, outhouse down there that you can use and like I said we're really close to Gardner about five miles away if you need to grab some food or whatever you can go up to Gardner. On this trail, I'm uh, some of the risks that I'm really watching out for is uh, some. This is kind of high snake area. It's known for rattlesnakes, so I'm gonna be really careful about, especially on my trip back down. Um, I'm gonna be really watching for snakes, and um, this area is known for its wildlife. There's not uncommon to see buffalo here, mountain sheep. On the way up this morning, I came this close to hitting a white tail buck on the road. And I saw about 150 head of elk just grazing right along the side of the road. So it's just a beautiful drive out here, beautiful place to run, and I'm looking forward to this. So let's get started. Guys, how's it going? Here's we, here's what it looks like at the top of Trail 134. Pretty awesome. It's uh, beautiful up here. Looks like we climbed to about 7,350 feet. I'll just do a little pan around here. It, there's a lot of trees up here, but you can still see out into the Absorca Beartooth and up into the park. It's just a beautiful location. Man, this was just such a great climb. Started out and down low by the river and sagebrushy, uh, dried out grass, kind of snaky, rattlesnake looking country. 
climbed up quite a ways and then got into some beautiful lush meadows across Bassett Creek, which was uh, just a beautiful stream. And then meandered up Bassett Creek for a couple miles and switched back way up on the top of this beautiful mountain. Man, it's just, uh, I highly recommend this. One drawback to this run was about at mile three, uh, I started losing the trail and uh, it was kind of iffy in there. So um, just make, make sure you have your GPS unit with you so you can make sure you're on track with the trail. But highly, highly recommend this climb up into this beautiful country. And uh, you won't regret it. it. looks like it's about a little over four miles up here. And uh, just a beautiful hike and beautiful run and a beautiful day. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey guys, just got back. Magnificent trip. I hope you will take the time to go up this trail 134. It's awesome, especially that beautiful meadow up there. The whole thing's just spectacular. Clocked in about nine miles back up and back. I think I cut off some trail on the way up because I lost my way. So it would probably be a little bit longer now if you stuck on the trail the whole way up, the whole way back. But it was good. Really enjoyed it. Hope you did too. We're out.